This video, I want to talk about the rollout glitch, kind of taking over Madden 24. This is an under center concept. So this can apply to a lot of different formations in this game. It doesn't just have to apply to a single back wing slot. Now we're going to be showing this out of single back wing slot, which is in the Colts offensive playbook. There's other formation, other playbooks that have this formation. But in general, I think, you know, Colts is kind of the, the main formation of choice for a lot of people. Now, this glitch works significantly better in Ultimate Team than it does at Regs or CFM because the players are all 99 speed. But again, speed is kind of relative in Madden. And the main thing I want to show you is just the concept that you can then pair with a specific ability known as Roaming Deadeye. And I'll kind of talk about how that, uh, that, that works as well. And again, you can do this out of Pretty much any under center set, the main reason we're choosing wing slot is just because wing slot's a really good formation in general, okay? And uh, we'll start and talk it with, talk through this first about uh, dollar. So kind of the main way that people are going to run dollar on you is they're going to base a line, they're going to press, and they're going to punch their D line, and they're probably going to use her this guy. So what we're going to do, um, of course, we could run the ball and all that. So you come out in the bubble. If you get a look for the bubble, then, you know, we know how good the bubble screen as that's crazy that he looked up. But in general, this bubble screen is really good. Also, you see dollar. Pretty much always universally a pretty good idea to try to run the ball because the main weakness of dollar is its weak box or its lack of ability to defend the run. Obviously, it doesn't get glitchy weak boxed, but in general, it has a light box. It, it typically has safeties at the linebacker position. You know, you only got a three down lineman uh, set. So, so that's one option. The next option, though, is to try to basically roll out. You can do this really from any play. So what I like to do is I'll do this from a play action, this PA play, this tight end scissors. And then all we're going to do is we're just going to basically hold right trigger as soon as the ball is snapped, and we're going to instantly roll out. As you see, they kind of roll inside, and then Patrick Mahomes has the ability roaming dead eye. He might have dashing dead eye, but he has, he has one of the dead eyes. If you use roaming dead eye, dashing dead eye, pretty much both of these are going to work. I think roaming is the best. So... In general, you can get roaming pretty cheap on Bo Jackson right now in Mutt. In, in Rags, you can get it. CFM, you can get it. So what you're going to do here, now the rest of the route combo is really up to you. So you could run a drag in a deep end route. That's fine. doesn't really matter. The biggest thing here is as soon as the ball is snapped, I'm going to click right trigger once to cancel play action, and then I'm going to hold right trigger uh, to kind of roll out. So you see here, get out. And then the, the thing about, so I don't think he has Roman. He must have like dashing dead eye, or maybe I just blew past it. With Roman dead eye, when you roll out of the pocket, pretty much every throw is going to be accurate, provided that you stop holding the trigger when you throw it. So again, here, we kind of get the rollout, and you see, kind of throw it, and you see the idea, okay? Now, you can also do another really important thing with play action plays that I think is important to mention is you can actually just block the running back. And what I would do is I would double team this guy here and now maybe even ID this guy over here. So the running back will step to the left side. And what it should do is if they blitz the slot corner, he's going to kind of run inside. And the pursuit in this game is obviously really bad. And as you see, this is wide open uh, to the corner pretty much every single time. And there's not a whole lot they can do to stop it. That's the important thing. There's not a whole lot they can do to stop specifically the rollout. So like here, this is a cloud flat, for example. And again, if I run PA scissors and I just streak this guy, I would go ahead and block your running back. And I'd even double team here, just instantly roll out. A lot of times you'll be able to get out. And that's with Mahomes, who doesn't have like the most amount of speed in the world, right? Okay, so that's the concept. We'll take it to another really popular formation in this game, which is 4-3, even 6-1. Those are kind of the two main defenses that you're going to be seeing. Now, I first showed it against kind of a cover two base defense. Now I want to show it to you against a you know cover four base defense, for example. So first things first, a lot of people are going to pinch their line. They're going to crash their line down and maybe do something like this to try to stop your run game aspect of this formation. Okay, so same basic thing, audible to PA scissors. Here's your route combo. Instantly just kind of roll out, get out of the pocket. And you see how that deep quarter, he never really plays him. So, again, if you have roaming dead eye, that's pretty much accurate every single time, which, you know, again, really hard to stop. So we show this to you one more time, and then we'll talk about some of the other things you can do here from this. There's a lot you can do from this scheme for sure. 
So again, just take a step back, roll out. And what, and again, this partially is, you know, there's a little bit of a speed discrepancy compared to ultimate team. But let's say they blitz everybody. Okay, so they're going to blitz everybody. And, you know, basically we'll do this combo right here. Roll out. You see, able to get out, able to throw that. And with roaming, that's accurate 100% of the time. In fact, it's, it's actually going to be a higher risk of an inaccurate pass inside the pocket than outside the pocket if you were to have roaming deadeye. That kind of leads me to my next point uh, in terms of just kind of thinking through. So what they're going to start doing is they're going to start blitzing these outside linebackers and trying to basically contain. Okay, so when they start to do this, I think this is maybe the best way to defend this if they manually slide these linebackers out. Because the biggest thing is you're trying to keep the quarterback in the pocket. If you can't keep the quarterback in the pocket, everything is open. So what you can do here on the left-hand side is you can go streak and a corner route to the left side and again, instantly just roll out to the left. And here you see in reg is not as good, but you get the idea of you're going to just roll out to the left-hand side. So the beauty of this is now, you know, they're going to maybe stack zones over to the right, but now you're going to roll out over here to the left. So again, just instantly roll out, you see there, boom, and then you're just throwing your corner or your or your tight end. Typically, the user is going to try to use the corner, but he's going to be super delayed in getting there. Now, all that to say, these are some of your main plays, but you can then start to go off of that. So you could go with a, you know, something simple like this setup, which is really good because we know, right? We know, guys, that they're going to be blitzing us on the outside a lot of times. And they're probably going to be forced to play something like a cover two because the cloud is going to have to hold that corner for long enough for the contain to activate. So, you know, you're really going to get them into something like this, right? So let's say, you know, they see, okay, oh, he's going to run a, a post to the left. So then I need to kind of go to the left side. That's where you can kind of work in this play right here where you can just kind of quick throw your running back right out of the backfield and you see how good this is. So this is just the tip of the iceberg with this offense in general, but it's really all kind of centered around the ability to instantly do this. And then you can run the ball with your quarterback, of course, you can, uh, or you can try to throw the ball to the sideline. In general, corner routes are what make this offense really good. One thing I did want to say is let's say you have like tied an apprentice or something like that. You could do a combo like this, use this tight end crosser, because by the time you get over here, right, you see I'm able to throw that tight end route. So there's a lot of versatility with this. Another thing that I really like this mesh flat spot, uh, flat spot play is we're going to block a running back. We'll throw a corner route to the tight end, for example. And again, they're just going to think kind of standard. You know, it's just the standard corner route uh, deal that everybody runs. But now we're going to have this post kind of over the top that we could be looking for against cover two, for example. So, you know, there's just a lot of op opportunity and options uh, with the coverage that you can kind of manipulate. Again, this is this is obviously a little bit better in ultimate teams. You're going to be able to put roaming dead eye on the field. You're going to be able to do some of that stuff. But in general, you could do even a combo like this, for example, and then we're basically running the same thing. We're just flipping the side, right? And then the beauty of this is, again, if they're falling asleep at the wheel, they sit in the middle of the field. Well, you got that corner route to pull that deep half, and now you've got this massive post route open over the middle for a really big play. So this kind of a fun little offense into your offense, you know, that I think a lot of people are really enjoying right now. It's really freaking hard to stop. You guys uh, know how to stop it. Let me know in the comments. But this is the rollout glitch. Thanks for watching the video. If you guys want to get my entire Colts offensive ebook, we show you an entire system behind the playbook, not just one formation. So if you want to get access to that, link's going to be in the description. Join the Patreon today for just $10. I guarantee it's going to make you a better Madden player. You can sign up down below at the link in the description.